Hi, this is Jeff from SimSamurai.net. This is a continuation uh, from a video I made earlier on cutting out your exterior skin panels for the CS1 Stallion or HX1 Habu flight simulator cockpit. Uh, this same principle can also apply to the XS1 or the AX1 or even the LX1. Um, basically all my sim cockpits um, have symmetrical designs. That means the left side will always mirror the right side. This is uh, designed intentionally that way for ease of cockpit building. Um, basically what you're looking at here is an outline for the front of the uh, HX1 Habu flight simulator cockpit. Um, in the previous video I showed you how to trace out the lines of the wall frame onto this fiberboard. This is a 4 by 8 sheet of 1 8 inch thick fiberboard. And basically, as you see, I have this now laid out on my floor style cutting platform, which I've also discussed how to make a floor style cutting platform in earlier videos. Um, basically, it's sitting on four, uh, four foot lengths of four inch post. Um, this is just Douglas fir or pine post that you can pick up at Home Depot. They're each cut into 48 inch sections. And uh, as you can see, they're, they're kind of spaced out right now. So before I cut this, I'm gonna move some of these posts uh, closer in so that it's more evenly supported and that there's no wave or bow as you can see right now. But basically once you trace out one of these on one side of your sim station, you can actually mirror um, another piece and make sure all your edges and, and uh, you know, corners are lined up perfectly. You can tape them together, you can clamp them together with clamps, um, but basically once you do that, it allows you to cut two pieces at once. Or in this case, I'm gonna be cutting the section right here. Uh, this is the inside of the right wall frame and uh, the other sheet underneath is the left wall frame or left front uh, for the left front wall. Um, but what's important when you are mirroring two pieces of material like this together, be it fiberboard or plywood or any sort of material, uh, you got to think in your head about which way they need to face. And because I cut the right inside first, the other side sheet being the left side obviously needs to go the opposite way. Um, instead of having both rough sides face up on that, I actually need to face the rough side on the other sheet facing down because that's going to be the inside of the left wall needs to mirror, or the left side needs to mirror this shape as you can see here. So what I'm cutting now and setting up um, is these two sheets and you can see that slick side of the second sheet is face up and then this side, obviously, the slick side is facing down. So you have the two slick faces facing each other. Um, and so that's the best way to do this if you had started on the right wall like I did. Um, obviously, if uh, it was the right wall and this was the left wall, then it would be flipped, but it would be the same way. The two slick faces would face one another. Um, so that's basically it uh, for that. And then after that, in the next video, I'm going to show how to make the drill holes uh, for each cockpit section and where the, the drill points need to go once these are cut out. Um, so that's it for part two of uh, setting up your cutting platform and cutting out the uh, skin sections for your cockpit. Thanks, and we'll see you in the air.